Question 176. Read the following statements and choose the correct option. Statement A. Oxytocin is known as milk letdown hormone. Statement B. It stimulates milk ejection in response to suckling reflex. Statement A is incorrect. Statement B is incorrect. Both statements A and B are incorrect. Both statements A and B are correct. Let's analyze both statements. Oxytocin is known as milk letdown hormone. That is absolutely correct. After parturition, oxytocin is released and causes milk ejection. Statement B states, it stimulates milk ejection in response to suckling reflex. That is also true. Both the statements given are correct. So the right answer here would be option number 4. Answer is 4. Question 177. All of the following are hyperglycemic hormones except glucagon, adrenaline, aldosterone, cortisol. Hyperglycemic hormones means they would increase the level of glucose in blood. Option number 1, glucagon will definitely do that. Adrenaline would also result in hyperglycemia as it promotes glycogenolysis. Option number 3, aldosterone. Aldosterone is a mineralocorticoid. And its major role is to control the sodium potassium balance in blood. And this has no direct correlation with increasing levels of glucose in blood. So that would be incorrect and our right answer. Option number four, cortisol. It also increases. So option number 1, 2 and 4 are hyperglycemic hormones and option number 3 is not and is our right answer. Question 178. Match column 1 and column 2 and select the correct option. Column 1 reads Graves disease, cretinism, diabetes insipidus and hypoandrogenism. Column 2 reads hyposecretion of thyroxine, hypersecretion of thyroxine, hyposecretion of testosterone, hyposecretion of ADH. Let's look at column 1. Graves disease. Graves disease is due to hypersecretion of thyroxine. It goes with 2. B. Cretinism. Cretinism is due to hyposecretion of thyroxine. So it goes with 1. Diabetes insipidus is linked to hyposecretion of ADH resulting in excess water loss or frequent urination. So C goes with 4. And lastly, hypoandrogenism is due to hyposecretion of testosterone. So it goes with option number 3. So A goes with 2 is only in option number 2. That is our right answer. The correct answer is 2. Question 179. X is an area of the human eye which is identified as this part of the eye is labeled as X, blind spot, vitreous chamber, aqueous chamber, optic nerve. The chamber which is present between the lens, this is the lens, and retina is called as vitreous chamber and it is filled with vitreous humor. So X is vitreous chamber that is our option number two. Blind spot would be located on retina whereas aqueous chamber is this area which is present between cornea and lens and it is filled with aqueous humor. This aqueous humor is replenished every day whereas this vitreous humor in vitreous chamber is formed during embryonic life and option number four optic nerve is here. The right answer is option number two. Question 180. Which part of the human ear plays no role in hearing but helps in equalizing the pressure on either sides of the eardrum? Ear ossicles, eustachian tube, crista ampullaris, organ of corti. Among the given options, ear ossicles increase the efficiency of a sound so they play a role in hearing. And the second part of the question is saying that it, this structure helps in equalizing the pressure on either sides of the eardrum. Crista ampullaris and organ of corti are structures located in the inner ear and they do not equalize the pressure on either sides of the eardrum. Eardrum is a structure which is located between external ear and middle ear. The right answer here is eustachian tube. The eustachian tube controls the pressure within the middle ear. 
and it also equalizes it with the pressure outside the body. Thus the right answer is option number 2 eustachian tube.